Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter seven, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So these ones are a little bit tricky just because you need to know the wording, okay? So when it says sum, it's talking about plus, okay? When it's talking about difference, it's subtracting. Product is multiplication. And quotient is divide. Okay? All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay? Um, number two says 20 plus 5 times 9. Well, the first thing that we would do there is figure out what so to identify the parts okay so the parts are going to be the multiplication and the addition okay so identify the parts then write the word expression for the numerical or algebraic expression okay so we could say 20 added to the product of five and nine, okay? Not so bad, okay? We're gonna do another one, okay? Okay, so this one, there's a product with two and E because two E is the same as two times E. So the product, of 2 and E subtract F. Okay? Okay. All right. So what? Okay, so this one says the sum of eight and the product of six and q and then and q okay when you're saying and it means addition okay so and is going to be that addition right there okay product because six q is the same as six times q okay all right, so, all right, so, identify the terms of the expression and then give the coefficient of each term. The coefficient is just the number that's next to the letter, okay? It's just the number assigned to that letter, okay? Okay, so, the terms are 11R and 7S. Okay, the coefficient of 11 is R, and the coefficient of 7 is S. Okay, sorry, the coefficient of S is 7, the coefficient of R is 11, the number is the coefficient. Okay, okay, so one last one here. Okay, so there's one term, there's another term, okay? So six is going to be the coefficient of G. And when there's no number before a letter, it means that the coefficient is one every single time, okay? 
if you think about it, we don't usually say one apple, we'll say an apple or a apple, but we don't usually say one, okay? All right, so, all right. Adam bought granola bars at the store. The expression 6P plus 5N gives the number of bars in P boxes. So P is the boxes, okay? And N, oh, sorry, boxes of plain granola bars. And N is the boxes of granola bars with nuts, okay? So what are the terms of the expression? Okay, well, the terms, are 6p and 5n. That one was super easy, guys, okay? Okay, all right. Number eight is just like these guys up here, so I want you to give it a try, okay? This is the expression it's giving you. Write out the number sentence, okay? Write out the sentence that matches the words, okay? Remember that the parentheses come first. Okay, so whatever is inside the parentheses needs to come first. Okay, okay. All right, guys, we're going to go into the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always, because you're brilliant. Okay, and we are going to go down to Spiral Review. Does Meg pay $9 for two tuna sandwiches at the same rate? How much does Meg pay for eight tuna sandwiches? Okay, well, to get from two, to eight, I need to multiply by four, right? So now I'm gonna take the $9 and I'm gonna multiply that by four. Okay, so all right, nine times four, $36. Okay, Jan is saving for a skateboard. She saved $30 already, which is 20% of the total price. How much does a skateboard cost? Well, $30 is 20%, which is 0 0.20 when we're doing a decimal of blank. Okay, so in order for us to isolate this and get it alone, we have to divide by 0 0.20. Whatever we do to this side of the equal sign, we have to do to this side, so we're going to divide by 0 0.20, okay? So now, we know that we can't have a decimal outside of the box, so we need to move that one two times, which means I need to move that one two times, okay? So now, I'm going to have 30, oh sorry, 3,000, divided by 20, okay? Because okay, if I had a decimal here it, in 30, it would be right there, okay? It doesn't show one, but that's where it would be, okay? And because I can't have a decimal outside, I had to move it one two times, which means I had to move this one one two times, which is how I got two more zeros, okay? You guys should remember that, but just in case, Okay, so 20 is not going to go into 3. 20 will go into 30 one time. 1 times 20 is 20. Subtract and get 10. Okay. 10 is smaller than 20, so I can bring down my other 0. And 20 goes into 100 five times. 5 times 20 is 100. Subtract and get 0. Now, because I have a 0 right here, and because this is a 0, I can just move that zero straight up. Okay. Okay. It took Eduardo eight hours to drive from Buffalo to New York, to New York City, a distance of about 400 miles. What is his average speed? Okay. Well, let's do. Sorry, I used that scrap paper before. Okay. So. 400 miles divided by those eight hours. And let's see how fast he's going, okay? All right, eight's not gonna go into four, but it will go into 40 five times. Five times eight is 40. And again, 
we're ending with a zero and there's a zero left, which means boom. So it's going to be 50 miles per hour. Okay, about, about 50 miles. Okay, he's probably not going 50 the whole way the entire time. Okay, I had an expression that represents the value in cents of nickels. Okay, well, the value of a nickel is five and the N will stand for nickel. All done. Okay, guys, good job. Thanks for hanging out for 7.4. Come on back for 7.5. See you soon.